we have breaking news right here in Fox Business. You're seeing shots that go in and out, so sometimes the, the frame freezes, sometimes it starts to move. The Democrats, uh, the, the bypass, uh, the Republicans have bypassed the Democratic attempts to stop legislation from moving in the Wisconsin House. Now, what happened, as Carl Rove described earlier, they did have this bill that combined removing coll some collective bargaining rights from public sector unions with a new budget. Uh, the Republicans found out that if they strip away the collective bargaining rights provision of this bill from the overall bill, they could pass it even without the Democrats. So the fact that the Democrats were hiding out in another state didn't affect the Republicans' efforts to, to pass that bill, which is exactly what they've done. Now, it's pandemonium. You, can, you can't tell when it freeze frames, but when you begin to hear some of what's going on there, you hear a lot of screaming by Democrats that are very upset about this. They will pass the money section of the bill later, but for the moment, they have passed the provision that strips a lot of collective bargaining uh, power away from the public sector unions. So Governor Scott Walker has gotten his way, at least for now, in that part of the debate. Uh, we're going to talk about this debate amongst ourselves. We have Lee Hawkins with us, Dennis Neal, and Gene Marks is also joining us. Gene is with the Marks Group. It's a small business group. Uh, Gene, what do you think about what the governor has done here? Is it a smart move or not? Uh, the, the, the governor himself is, um, is, is making a move that I think really kind of has to be made. I mean, there are a lot of businesses all around the country, as well as in the state of Wisconsin, that uh, are looking to our governments to you know, decrease the deficits and, and get their kind of budgets under control. So he's doing exactly what he was voted to do. And because he's in there and he's doing what he's doing, I know a lot of people that lost the election are upset, but I think he's just doing what he said he was going to do. Now, Dennis, we did, we've talked about how Mitch Daniels' approval rating went down after he essentially did the same thing with just a stroke of the pen, by the way. He didn't even have to worry yeah. about a legislature. Uh, but eventually, the, the state improved its finances. His approval rating went up. Will the same happen here? Yeah, I think it will, just like Chris Christie. You know, at first, maybe go down because of tough, tough uh, measures, but then you end up benefiting from it. Although, the only three questions I have in this move, David, are, couldn't they have just done this right away three weeks ago and not gone through all of this? Oh, my gosh, of course, we wouldn't have had anywhere near as much fun in the media. And in Congress, they removed money to stop something from getting done, like Obamacare getting imposed. All right, well, we'll talk about it. Let's stick on Wisconsin, though, Lee. The fact is that right now the governor got what he wants. And the question is whether the Wisconsin people got what they want. Uh, we have seen a lot of pushback, not only against the governor, but also, frankly, against the nationwide union movement, some of which, from Richard Trump and the life, like, was pretty heavy-handed. Uh, I don't think the people of Wisconsin appreciated some of what the unions were saying and doing. And I, I think this is about a matter of perception, and he's going to be perceived as defying the political will of the people. I think he's going to probably lose a lot of points in the approval rating, but he will be hailed as a hero in the private sector. I, I don't understand. What is this? political will of the people. Unions represent less than 7% of private sector workers and 36% of public workers. And I really want to know how many of those protesters in Wisconsin are truly Wisconsin let, let government let union members. Go ahead, Gene. You know, I just have to say that, you know, uh, what the entire country is watching what's going on. It's not a matter of just Wisconsin's budget. It's a matter of the entire federal budget as well. I mean, he's taking a stand like other governors, like Governor Christie as well, to try and get spending under control. So the business community is watching what's happening as well all around the country. And I think the messages that he's taking and the, the steps that he's taking are really going to be effective. But Lee, as tough as Chris Christie has been, and he's faced off with a lot of union folks, he hasn't done something like this. This is pretty right. tough medicine. This is a hyper-visible, very symbolic struggle. That, and he was, he's the face of this struggle. And so he is going to get hit. At the same time, this cultural paradigm shift in resi resistance to unions and everybody that subscribes to that are going to celebrate Scott Walker. So we know that at least if he doesn't get reelected, he'll have a nice job waiting for him Dennis, when he's done. Do you think that the unions have lost some points because of their hardball position? They the have lost weeks? such huge points. When Richard Trumka, AFL-CIO, got on there and railed on Fox Business about Wall Street bonuses, which have nothing to do with whether we're, we're you know, not having Wisconsin workers pay enough of their own retirement costs, I thought they lost huge points. Although one question, David, why has no one ever argued here that so what if there's collective bargaining? Government should learn how to say no. All but right. what and about that? Once again, just to wrap up for our viewers, what has happened in Wisconsin is they had this bill that included less spending 
and pulling away some of the collective rights, uh, collective bargaining power of the public sector unions. They combined the two, but they realized there was a provision in the state law that allowed them to strip out the collective bargaining provision and just pass that alone, which the Republicans have now done in the Senate. So that is now the law of the state. Democrats are furious. As you can see, we will continue to update on these breaking developments right here on Fox Business. Meanwhile, coming up on deck.